everyone, I am Dr. Rupa. I'm an ophthalmologist and lover of all things beauty. And today we are talking about coconut oil and if it can really help these sad little lashes. If you are interested in knowing about that natural remedy for your eyelashes, keep watching. mom's assistant and today we will be doing coconut oil and right when I was in mom's room I was like what is this coconut oil something for you to drink and I was about to drink it but I didn't drink it it's good and I was like hmm coconut oil I wonder what that is okay you may be like me have some terrible looking lashes because maybe it's something that you did to your lashes. Like I did some lash extensions and now my lashes are awful. You might've done lash perming or lash tinting, a lot of different things that can cause your lashes to fall out. And then a lot of us are always trying to look for natural ways to remedy the situation. So I went back to coconut oil. Now coconut oil has been studied for your hair. My grandmother is Indian and she would always try to put coconut oil in my hair. You know, Indian people have the thickest, like best hair, that all those hair extensions come from India because women will shave their hair as an offering to this one big temple in India. And then all these hair extension companies go and get those that hair and then like dye it and, and do whatever. But that's that's Indian hair and it's thick and it's glorious. So. Hey, coconut oil obviously works because that is a tried and true thing that Indian people love putting in their desis. You know what I'm talking about? Coconut oil. So I definitely grew up with coconut oil in my hair, but I've never used it on my lashes. So I wanted to investigate if it's even going to work or if it's dangerous for the eye. It has a lot of really wonderful properties to nourish the hair. It actually can penetrate inside the hair shaft because it's a fatty acid and it has a really long linear chain. So it can actually penetrate into the hair shaft and they can really condition and nourish the hair and it can prevent hair loss, but it doesn't really cause your hair to grow longer any faster. It just prevents it from breakage. Since coconut oil has such a high affinity for hair protein, a lot of people figured it must be good for eyelashes, right? No studies have actually shown that it's beneficial, but let's just look at the way that I've seen online how people are using it. I'm gonna try it too, why not? All right, so I bought just from my local organic grocery store, the organic, you know, virgin coconut oil. Now I use this for cooking, so it's half, half empty. And I do use it in my hair because I'm not gonna argue with my Indian grandma. I think she knows what she's talking about. Since I wanna actually use this, I'm gonna pour it into a little, oh my gosh. Okay, I had to get my husband to open it. It was really, really stuck tight. I'm usually pretty strong too. So right, I'm gonna pour a little bit here. Now, one blog I saw, the woman actually used a Q-tip and I don't think that's a great idea just because you know it's got a lot of little fibrous things and they could end up in your eye and they can be a little bit irritating. So if you're gonna try it, I would say to get those spoolies on Amazon. You know, you can get like a hundred for four or five dollars. And then that way, each time you use it, just throw it away. It'll keep everything clean and just prevent infection and that kind of thing, lash mites. You don't want any of that stuff. You know, oil is always just kind of the perfect breeding ground for all sorts of bacteria and that kind of thing. So. You don't want that. You really don't want to get it in the eye. And the reason is it's not that dangerous, but it's very thick and it's an oil, obviously, even if it's a natural oil, and it's just going to really blur the vision. And we'll talk about in a second what to do if you do get it in your eye. Okay. So I put it on my eyes. It did flick a little because it's so liquidy. It's not like mascara, right? So it's so liquidy. So it did kind of get everywhere. So it is certainly possible to get some droplets inside your eye. Um, it feels very lightweight. I mean, it's definitely on there. What does that even do? Can you see a difference? No. No, right? Yeah. I think it's supposed to make your lashes. Longer? Yeah. Well, it's not going to make them longer, but it's going to make them break less. So the nice thing about coconut oil is 
that it's an oil. And as an oil, it doesn't have a pH, meaning it's not acidic or basic. So I have here this pH paper and pH paper tells you the pH, but oil doesn't have a pH because you need to have an aqueous solution to have a pH. So the reason I'm talking about that is because when you have an acid or a base and it gets accidentally in the eye, like bleach or you know hydrogen peroxide or something like that, those can be really, really dangerous uh, to the front surface of the eye. Both acids and bases eat away at the cornea and the ocular tissues. And bases are actually worse than acids. You people always think, oh, hydrochloric acid is gonna be the worst. Actually bleaches and bases are way worse. But that's another discussion. So an oil being that it has no pH is really not gonna to be too dangerous for the eye in case you get it in. So that's at least good to know. Tear off some little pieces of the pH paper. And if you remember your high school chemistry, you're gonna just dip it in and you'll see what the pH is. Um, okay, so I'll dip it here in the oil. Okay, you can see it is basically the exact same color that it was it didn't really change color. So if I were to do, um, okay, here, I have some artificial teardrops here, which should be a neutral pH, but at least you can see what a neutral pH looks like. Ah, my hands are all oily, hold on. That's kind of fun. Okay. okay, so there, you can see that pretty much right away. So that's an artificial teardrop, which is made for the eye. So that's an artificial teardrop, which is made for the eye. And you compare it to that, and it looks nice and neutral. Right there. So that's teardrops versus the oil. And it's not that it's a, an acid on the yellow side, it's just, it just doesn't have a pH. So. What happens if you actually get the oil inside your eye? It's gonna make your vision really blurry. It's going to maybe irritate the surface of your eye, but it's not really dangerous. So if you get coconut oil in your eye, what I would do is use some artificial teardrops, just flush it out. You can even use an eye stream kind of thing uh, like this. I have the BioTrue just because it's what we have in my office. This is better than using tap water. Tap water can sometimes irritate your eye a little bit because of the pH, but this will be a little more gentle. But if it's what you have, it's what you have. But Or an artificial teardrop. I have some Sustain right here. Sustain, Gentil, Refresh, Blink, TheraTears, all of that stuff is fine. Just not Visine. Don't use Visine because the eyes are red. Visine has a lot of preservatives. You don't want to use that. So flush it out with some tears or some you know, just some irrigation solution and you'll be fine. You don't need to go in to your eye doctor for it. Uh, if you are using coconut oil to remove your makeup, then it just really to shut your eyes very tightly so that a lot of it doesn't seep into the eyes because it just blurs everything up. That's good to know because I'm not really so worried if a patient calls me and tells me they got coconut oil in their eye, I'm just gonna tell them to flush it out. I would definitely recommend cleaning the base of your eyelashes really, really well to prevent inflammation of the eyelids called blepharitis. This happens when there's blockage of the meibomian glands of the eyelid. And that can happen if you use something like coconut oil, which is really thick and can block the oil glands. So you can just use either a tea tree oil foaming cleanser like I'm doing here, or even just a salt water solution or a hypochlorous acid solution, or even just baby shampoo. And I'll post a couple links down below of things that will help just get rid of any oily buildup debris on the base of your ashes to keep your eyelids safe and healthy. So that's coconut oil. It's not super dangerous for the eye. All the things that I've seen people put on their lashes, this is gonna be something that is very, very mild. If it gets in your eye, not the biggest deal. Flush it out um, as much as possible with some saline or artificial teardrops. It's really not gonna cause your lashes to grow longer, but it's gonna prevent breakage and damage, and it is going to nourish the hair protein and the hair shaft. So if you wanna try it, I'm not opposed to it. I might try it because it's around and I'm not going anywhere right now. It's just as long as you know that it's not gonna give you some of those results like the growth serums like Latisse or Grande Lash or 
you know, Revitalash or, you know, Lash Boost. It's not going to give you that kind of, of results because it's not actually interfering with the lash cycle, which is what's really important with those serums. They're interfering with the antigen phase of the lash cycle. This is just going to nourish and condition your lashes. Anyway, hope that was fun. It was kind of fun for me. If you have any comments, if you've used coconut oil before, you've had good results, or if some people will use mineral oil, mineral oil is not going to be as great for hair in general. It just doesn't penetrate into the hair shaft as much because the fatty chain is not quite as linear. Um, so if you're gonna use something natural, try the coconut oil. But let me know if you've used coconut oil and had good results or if what you use for your lashes and what you guys are all up to, I'd like to hear. Anyway, thanks so much. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what kind of videos you want an eye surgeon's perspective on. I'm happy to produce them. Until next time, mahalo. I am Dr. Rupa. I'll see you soon.